used to call me on my cell phone. They used to call me on my cell phone. Welcome back everybody. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. I have been getting a couple of requests to do a highlight and contour tutorial for beginners. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with just a few of the things you may need. You don't necessarily have to have. Whatever you have, make it work. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a few of the things you may need just to start out with. So, to begin, a lot of people don't even know what highlighting and contouring is. Highlighting and contouring, you do not have to do it every single time you put makeup on. To me, highlighting and contouring, it snatches your face. So it's not for every day like work. So for me, um, I may wear like, uh, just like, you know, foundation, concealer, powder, whatever for work. I'm not trying to, you know, I love a good highlighted under eye but it's not necessarily for every every day so highlighting highlights the high points of your face and it's normally focused around the center so under the eyes bridge of the nose cupid's bow chin and right here on your forehead area and that's good for anyone who may have a big or smaller head but the contouring will trim that down it'll make your head look smaller so contouring basically um, slims the face. That's just my best way I can say it. It slims the face. If you have a rounder face, you can contour in the hollows of your cheeks, like so, um, as well as your nose to trim it down. You don't want to do it too much because it'll make you look like a totally different person. And ain't nobody got time for that. If your forehead is big like mine, you can uh, contour around the hairline that way it'll make your forehead appear to be smaller so we're just gonna go ahead and get started a few of the brushes that I um I pulled to show you that I'm pretty sure are really good for beginners to use um especially if you've never highlighted or contoured in your life so these particular brushes are for the contouring part of your makeup application so this one is a very inexpensive brush. It's by e.l.f. It's the Small Taper brush. And I use this one, as you can see, it is pointed and tapered to a tip. And I use this, it's very helpful um, to use right here in the hollows of the cheek, like I said, to blend out that contour powder, as well as on your um, the hairline of your head, as well as, you know, under your chin. I mean, it's small and compact, and I believe this was like three dollars, cause all of Elf brushes are inexpensive. So you want to get you one of those, okay? Very inexpensive. They can be found at Walmart, um, Target, a Drug Emporium, you know, stuff like that. Any drugstore should have these. Walgreens. So you want to try that again? That's the Elf Small Taper Brush, okay? Now this one is, I believe, it's something like a blush brush. It's a little bit wider than that one I just showed but it is perfect for getting into the hollows of the cheek again you know as, as well as around the hairline and everywhere else not on the nose but you know just everywhere else to blend out that um contour powder or cream to get it to where you want it to be okay and i like this one because it is wider but i like small brushes like this as well as this because they get into that small area that you need you don't need a big brush to get into those smaller areas Okay, now this brush can also be used to apply a highlight powder up under the eye. But I have my uh, sponge for that as well. So we'll get into that as well. Um, another brush that I pulled is the Sonya Kashuk. It is a contour. You see how flat it is? It has a flat head. This is great if you basically cannot find the hollows in your cheeks. Like it is like a push, push, push or you know, in and out, in and out, in and out. Or up, down, up, down, up, down. So, um, that's perfect for that. And this actually came in a kit. Sonya Kashuk, her brushes are amazing. So if you see a kit at Target, grab them. They may be, they may be drugstore, but they're really good brushes. So you wanna try that. And it's, like I said, her kits are really expensive. I'm gonna say around $40, but you may get 15 brushes that do everything under the sun for your makeup application. 
So again, that's the Sonia Kashuk uh, Contra brush. And the last brush I have here is the Sedona Lace FB05. Again, it's a small uh, brush. It's similar to the one that I got in this kit off of eBay. It's just a little bit smaller. But like I said, these are great for getting in the hollows of your cheeks and not having to worry about having product all over the place. You just want it in the hollows and exactly where you're putting it. You don't want a big uh, brush. You need something small and taper like that, okay? So that is a Sedona Lace um, FB05. And I'm gonna have all of this down in my description box. So oh, I've out. already applied my foundation, my brows. I put on my concealer, which is um, the same shade as my skin, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the highlighting portion, which is what you can normally do first. But there are no rules to make up. You can do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. To highlight, you don't want it to be the same color as your skin tone. You want it to be at least a shade or two lighter. So it can highlight the inner portion of your face and make it pop. I love highlighting because it just wakes me up. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm using number 35 deep because my number 30 is like the color of my skin. But for some reason... This 35 deep is a little bit lighter. I don't know what that's about. But this is what I'm gonna go ahead and use. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can apply it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You don't have to do this many lines, this many strokes or anything. Just You just wanna make sure you put it in those particular areas. Another alternative would be the um, LA Girl Pro Concealer that you can get from, um, I believe like any beauty supply store. They are bomb. They're like $2.99, maybe $1.99 if you're you stopping somewhere that's actually trying to hook you up. But um, those are really good. I mean, those are bomb. They remind me of the MAC Pro Conceal. I mean, the coverage is amazing. But we're going to use this because this is just as good as well. This reminds me of the same uh, MAC Concealer. But um, like I said, if you can't get your hands on this, these are maybe $5.99 to $6 in Walmart. Any um, drugstore that you can find them at. But like I said, the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer is, I want to say $2.99, $1.99. I mean, both of them are bomb, but I'm going to go with this today. Like I said, if this doesn't work, we're going to step into uh, What you want to do, you want to highlight the high points of your face. So I always start with my under eye first because that's just my preference. So I'm going to go under my under eye and I like to take it up here a little bit out and down. Okay? So... And I love this because it has this applicator. No miss. And I just take it right alongside my nose. Okay? Alright, and then we're going to do one, do the cupid's bow. Okay. We're going to do the chin. Okay, and then we're going to do our forehead. And a lot of people like to make it like a, a sunshine format, I guess. It doesn't really matter, you just wanna get it on there. Okay, and then we're gonna take that extra that's left on the wand, and we're just gonna take the wand like this, and down the center of our nose, we're just gonna go straight down. Okay. These are all considered our high points. I'm gonna basically highlight the center of your face. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my sponge. Okay. This is the one I used to put my foundation on. And I'm just gonna flip it on the clean side. And I'm going, or really, can you can use the same side that I used the concealer on? But we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna dab that in. Okay. You don't want to rub it. Just dab it. And some people bring it out. It's totally up to you. It doesn't really matter. But me, my personal preference, I do like to just bring it a little bit out. I don't bring it all the way to my hairline, but just a little bit out. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over to the other side and do the same thing. Then we're going to connect the cupid's bow 
to the sides of the um up under our eyes. So we're gonna Okay. Then get that chin. And this is there's no right or wrong way to doing it, in my opinion, but you want to at least know exactly why you're doing it. You want to, you know, know where you need to contour. You don't want to have a contour powder all up on your cheeks where your blush is supposed to go. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. This is just my way of doing it, so I wanted to just pass it along. But we're going to go ahead and continue, and we're going to go ahead and do our forehead next. And I have a big forehead, so I don't want to highlight it too much. I don't want to make it look bigger. So, but we're going to trim that down with a little bit of a... Uh, contour powder okay then we're going to go ahead and just slowly dab the center because you don't want to spread it out too much so we're just going to tap that the whole process you're doing dabbing you don't want to swipe anything because it's just going to move all the product just all over your face and nobody has time for that okay now, now that we're done doing that, I'm going to take the bottom part where I applied my foundation with and I'm going to go along the outer portion of each area where I did highlight so I can remove that line of demarcation. I don't want any harsh lines. So, there you go. I don't want anyone to know where it stops. I want it to look like it just flows together. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go alongside the nose. Okay, right here alongside your lip, chin, and then we're going to do around the forehead. Okay, now, most important thing that I can like tell you, stress to you, point out, you need to set that concealer. You can't leave it like that because it's going to either crease up on you, it's going to start melting because it's hot outside here anyway. So you want to make sure you set it. So I normally use my uh, Laura Mercier. Very finely, finely milled powder, but it's so bomb for that under eye. Um, a lot of women of color use um we use this sasha cosmetics buttercup powder really can use any powder that's lighter than your skin tone um today we're actually going to go in with the laura mercier so i just tap some in the cap and we're going to take that sponge that we use and we're going to dip it in there okay and we're going to put it on all of the places where we put the concealer so here we go and you want to dab and press it into the skin just like you did when you were putting it on Now, at this point, we're going to go ahead and start with our contour, and we're going to let that sit for a minute. And there's no time frame for you to let it sit. You just let it sit until you feel like it has baked enough. This, yes, this is what they call baking. So, I'm basically letting the translucent powder set that concealer. So, we're going to bake it. With the contour powder, you want to make sure that it is at least, just like the highlight, um, concealer highlighter, you want to make sure it's one or two shades lighter than your skin tone. You want to make sure the contour powder is at least one or two shades darker than your skin tone. A lot of people like a subtle contour. A lot of people like a strong contour so the cheekbones just pop, okay? So, a good drugstore, I pulled a few items that were like good for drugstore and inexpensive and I have like one item that, and a couple items that may, that may be um, a little bit more expensive, but this is perfect for beginners. Trust me when I tell you this. It can be found in Ulta. Bam. It's a highlight and contour palette. So you have shades that you can highlight your concealer with. You don't have to fool with no translucent messy powder. And it also has the darker shades to contour with. See? 
I'm going to use this particular shade here because I want my cheekbones to pop, okay? So I'm going to use my e.l.f. brush, okay? We're going to go in with that, what is this, the small taper brush, knock off the excess, and make a fish face. That's like the best way for you to learn how to do it. You got to make faces. So suck those cheekbones in, girl. And you want to go right into the hollow. All the way to the hairline. And you do back and forth and swirl the mo swirling motion so you can get it blended in. And I don't take my contour too far. Some people will take it and swoop it all the way down here. No, I just wanted to make my cheek lift my cheeks up. Okay. You also want to go down right here in front of the earlobe to where you can go up under your chin. This helps you hide any double chin you may have, honey. Suck all that in. Up under the chin. Back and forth, swirl, swirl, swirl. And it's just right here on the jawline. Chin, jawline. Ear, by the earlobe, okay? Now we're gonna move up to the forehead, but we're gonna go alongside this hairline so we can get it. I don't know why I'm stopping talking while I'm doing this. Can't do two things at the same time. What is the problem? But we're just gonna go around this hairline. It's basically creating a shadow, giving you an appearance of a smaller forehead. Everybody loves that. If you got a five or six or ten head, you're going to love this. Can you tell the difference? And it doesn't have to be harsh. Now, when you get the hang of it, then we'll get to talking about cream contouring, setting that. Because that cream contour, baby, going to have you snacks for the gold, okay? Just trust me on that. We'll talk about that later though. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do, do the nose. For my nose, I love to use this flat shader or a large fluffy shader brush because you wanna get it right along the side where you need it, okay? Now, for the nose, like I said before, you do not want it to be too Michael Jackson-like. Rest in peace. But you don't want it to be like that. You just want to slim the nose if you want to. Now, a lot of people, you can stop right there and then you can brush out the excess powder. But a lot of people, because a lot of people don't actually do their nose. So I'm going to do my nose though. Not going anywhere today, but we finna snatch this face. So I'm going to go in with this shade here. I want it to be lighter. Actually, I'm going to go in with this shade because I don't need my nose to be as deep as my cheeks are. So we're gonna go in with that shade. I thought the excess powder. Where I like to start is in my, right up at the, uh, the beginning of my brow. Go a little bit up under it, down the bridge of my nose, back and forth, okay? Mm, okay. Then I like to bring it down a little bit on the sides. Go to the tip of my nose at the bottom. As you can see, I have not put any more powder on because there is plenty on the brush. You just want to move it around. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into that powder. Tap off the excess and do the same thing to the other side. Okay. And that is how you highlight and contour. Now, depends on, like I said, it depends on how small you want to bring your, how um, structured you want your nose to look. You want to make it look soft. You don't want it to look harsh or um, look like you just came from getting surgery. 
Now, like I said, this is a great palette because, like I said, it has the highlighting shades. It has the um, contour shades at the bottom. There's another palette, uh, well, not a palette, but uh, other contour powders that I actually use. I use the CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronze. This is an oldie but a goodie, y'all. This is so bomb. Get you one of these. I don't even care if you get the NYX palette, but you need to get this too. Well, you don't need both of them, but you know what I'm saying. So, I use that's another um, powder that I use as well. I have just recently uh, purchased a Bobbi Brown. Well, not too long ago, not recently purchased. I just picked up the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Deep Four, and this was a recommendation by Makeup Doll, and it is perfect for my skin tone. I love it. It's really fine, so you don't need a lot. You tap your taper brush in there, like, just barely, and you're good. Some powders, um, you do have, you know, some more, they're more packed into the compact, and so you have to do a little bit of swirl, swirl, swirl. But this right here, y'all, it's so bomb. That's deep for. I love it. And then another contour powder that I do use, and it's actually a blush by MAC. It is blunt, and it is... This right here. I mean, and it's like really soft. I love to use it on my nose, but I just wanted to use that palette so you all can know that you have that variety of shades that you can use. But the Blunt Blush by MAC is perfect for women of color. It's really soft. It's not harsh at all. So that is pretty much how you highlight and contour. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to dust this powder off. To dust it off, I love to use my um, Sedona Lace FB01 brush. This gets it done. It gets up under my eye, you know, it just dusts it all off and it doesn't look like I left anything behind. So I'm just going to go ahead and dust that off. Once you finish all that, you can go ahead and just set your face with your face powder. And you're setting the foundation. So you can go around everything or all the highlighted parts. You don't want to set those areas. So I went ahead and finished everything else off cam camera. Well, really wasn't else to do, but I went ahead and applied blush, lipstick, mascara off camera I added a little like one eyeshadow to my uh, lid but I wanted to go ahead and talk about the actual highlighting of the cheekbones this will make you glow okay so a palette that I picked up at Walmart is the elf palette it is the illuminating palette they do not have names but they're gorgeous and they're like so pigmented look at that so I'm going to use that color and I'm going to show you exactly how I highlight the uh, tops of my cheeks, my nose, cupid's bow, and my uh, forehead and stuff. So basically wherever you put your light concealer to highlight under your eyes, you want to you you want to put it in those same areas, but I'm about to show you. So I'm going to use the golden color because I love to glow, honey. I typed up, tapped out the excess because I don't want to start. You want to build it up because you can't take away. I mean, you can, but you really can't. So we're going to pop that on the cheeks. I'm using that same fan brush and doing just back and forth motions. See that? We're going to do the cupids, bro. You want to do the tip of your nose and then right there on the bridge of the nose. That's how I do it. So I hope you all enjoyed my video on how um, to highlight and contour for beginners. If you have any, 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 any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. I do answer the questions. I do get back to you. Um, because I really appreciate all the love and support. So if you do have any questions pertaining to this, just leave them down below. But I'm going to leave all the products in the description box as well as all of the brushes that I used. And like I said, make what you have work. Don't go out buying a whole bunch of stuff. But if you don't have any type of, you know, you want to, in the beginning, 
you want to combine everything. So like I said, those that, that contour palette by NYX is perfect. So I'll talk to you guys later and it will be sooner than later. <laughs> Bye guys. Call me on myself.